Hello everybody, welcome to channel. This is the fifth video of our video tutorial series to explain how to make a good quality pizza. Today I will explain how to make your own recipe for pizza and bread and also any other products. First, maybe it will be uh, important or useful if you are a beginner or who not have an accurate knowledge still to make a good product. To begin, when we make um, our recipe, we have to decide what type of wheat flour it's best and um, time, which time best for mix of ingredient or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes. And if you mix with uh, cool water or room temperature water, what will be changed? And how many kilos we can mix together with our mixing machine? And if we, if we mix uh, more quantity together, what will happen and which type of oil best to add and many other things. So today I will explain when you make your own recipe, how you have to decide your parameters. First, when you're looking uh, time to mix, according to my experience, if you mix with uh, machine, the bucket size 40 centimeter, diameter bucket size for pizza better maximum eight kilos to mix together maybe time seven to ten minutes maximum because if you mix more and more the gluten mass it will increase as i explained my second video and if you make a recipe for bread uh, you can mix even 20 minutes uh, because then it will create more gluten mash so the bread will be very soft and the ingredient if you need to increase the crunchiness of your pizza you can add uh, soya bean flour or sesame flour maybe uh, 2 to 5 percent per kilo and uh, time to add our ingredient as i explained my second video also if you add all ingredients at the beginning, it will in not increase uh, the gluten mash. So if you need increase uh, the gluten mash, we have to add our ingredients, salt, sugar and uh, oil step by step during the mixing time. According to my experience, the pop pizza better sunflower oil. If you need, you can add a little bit, maybe 2% of per kilo um, olive oil. And other thing, also you can add a uh, little bit uh, all wheat flour so it will increase the nutrition value of your um, pizza and it will help also to maintain the ph level of your pizza dough because the all wheat flour it has a 6 to 6.5 ph it's a bit high ph and uh, maybe but uh, normal wheat flour it has a 5 to 5.5 pH. So, after you mix in normal wheat flour with water and uh, the yeast, step by step the pH it will become uh, 4 or 3 9 or 4 4.2 in and this area. If you work in room temperature with your pizza dough, you have to control the yeast activity. So, by increasing uh, pH level a little bit, you can control your yeast activity because when you have 3.9 to 4.4 4 on pH and your pizza dough, the yeast activity it will increase, then the strength of power it will lose very soon. So the advantage uh, when you add a little bit uh, all wheat flour to control also your pH on your pizza dough. Maybe you can add maximum 5 to 10 percent per kilo all wheat flour. And the best temperature of water if you're making for pizza res recipe for pizza better you mix a uh, little bit cool water to reduce the gluten mash of your pizza but if you're making for breads better you get uh, room temperature water to increase the gluten mash as i explained also in my second video the maximum amount of uh, kilos to mix together also for pizza according to my experience the maximum amount of kilo to mix together with port di diameter bucket uh, of your machine 8 kilo because if you 
add uh, maybe 10 kilo it will remaining here 15 kilo remaining here 8 kilo maybe in this level so if you if you try to mix more quantity together it will pressure with uh, with the arm which are rotating then uh, it will increase the gluten mass also i already explained that in my second video so when you're making a recipe for pizza now you can decide the time to mix and the ingredient uh, i forget to tell here the w number for pizza better 200 to maximum 250 w number if you're working in room temperature with pizza dough better 200 or if you're making recipe for bread even you can use 250 to 400 w number now i think uh, you understand something uh, about my explanation if you have any question comment me below i will answer you and next video i will explain how to spread out most accurately pizza dough because when you when you spread your pizza dough you have to spread it more equally in this way so it will help to to achieve good baking quality but if you spread in uh, in this way it will not give you the good baking quality of your pizza so in next video i will explain how to spread out uh, pizza dough and don't forget to subscribe my channel until next video bye bye